Hi readers, this is Mrs. Herrig, and I'm sharing with you a nonfiction book called From Seed to Strawberry. I picked this book to share with you because strawberries are my favorite food. The table of contents is at the start of this book, and it tells us the chapters in the book and what page we'll find them on. So the chapter first, Gardeners Find a Space, is on page four. Strawberries are yummy. But how do they grow? First, gardeners find a space. Strawberries do not need a lot of space to grow. Gardeners can plant them in small gardens or flower pots. Strawberries grow best in soil that isn't too wet. They also need lots of sunlight. Then gardeners plant seedlings. Strawberries can grow from seeds, but gardeners usually use young strawberry plants called seedlings. They plant these seedlings with the crowns at the soil surface. Then they water the seedlings. Next, the seedlings become big plants. The plant's short roots grow stronger. Gardeners water the plants. They get rid of weeds. They also fertilize the soil giving the soil nutrients. Stems called runners also grow. The strawberry plants also produce runners. Runners grow along the surface of the soil. They grow small plants. The small plants can become new strawberry plants. Tiny flower buds grow into white flowers. Flower buds grow on the strawberry plants. The buds are small and light green. They grow in clusters or bunches. Soon they will turn into white flowers. Then gardeners pinch off the flowers. Gardeners sometimes pinch off flowers for the first few weeks or for the entire first growing season. This allows the strawberry plants to get bigger and stronger. Later the plants can grow more fruit. Small strawberries grow. More white flowers grow and open. Bees pollinate the open flowers. This helps the flowers produce strawberries. At first, the strawberries are small and green. Then they grow bigger. When we look at the picture, we see that um, there are these small strawberries and they look green. They don't look like um, the strawberries that we buy at the store yet. Soon the strawberries can be picked. The strawberries turn bright red. They are ready to be picked. People pick the strawberries along with their caps and stems. They pick them carefully so the berries will last longer. So the green part of the berry is the cap and the stem. Finally, the strawberries are ready to eat. Strawberries can be eaten in many ways. Many people eat them fresh. They also use strawberries to make jam, jelly, and desserts. These sweet fruits are tasty and good for you. I want you to stop and think, is there something strawberry flavored or do you like fresh strawberries that you've had lately? Hmm. I know I've had strawberry jam and fresh strawberries recently. In the back of the book, we find the glossary. So this helps us with some tricky words. Um, the word runner, I, I did not realize that strawberry plants had runners. Runners are long, thin stems on strawberry plants that grow new plants. So I can go um, look at this glossary and think about the tricky words and their meaning. We can also find more information about strawberries um, if I look at the further information page. Lastly, the index tells me important um, topics in the book and what page I'll find them on. So if I'd like to read more about gardeners, I can look at page four, six, eight, or 14.